All right, we are catching up this morning with someone you probably see all the time, but haven't seen live in quite a while. I, when she popped up as an adult, I was totally surprised. <laughs> It'd be actress at Mara Wilson. She was Matilda. And she was one of the kids in Mrs. Doubtfire. I remember that movie. <laughs> uh, now she's written about her experiences in those movies and more. And she didn't mind us asking, where are you now? <laughs> First of all, hi, look at you. You're all grown up and absolutely gorgeous. Do you keep hearing that from everyone oh, as you do you. these interviews today? What did you say? Sorry. Do you, do you keep hearing that from people doing the interviews today? Uh, no, actually, so thank you for that. <laughs> really, because again, you know, you have the book behind you, I have it here, and yes, you know, we still think of you. Um, I grew up watching the movies you were in, and yeah, my goodness. So, question, where are you now? The title of the book, Where Am I Now? Where are you now? Uh, well, I am, I am here, actually, <laughs> and I am a lot more comfortable with myself than I probably ever have been before in my life. Uh, also, I'm in New York City. <laughs> okay, good to know. Y you know, you mentioned being comfortable with yourself. I think everyone out there, whether they're uh, an actor or have nothing to do with Hollywood at all, all strives to be like, to say, truthfully, I'm comfortable with myself. What do you think has gotten yeah, you to that place to be able to say that? Uh, I think that getting out of Hollywood, or at least getting out of film acting, definitely helped. I think that I realized at one point that film acting did not play to my strong suits, and there were so many other actresses out there who could do what I did and do it so much better, you know? And I think that I'm happy to let them have that. And I think that uh, I found some things that I really love, and I've been pursuing them, and that has been incredible for me, uh, especially writing. Writing has been writing has been very fun and very therapeutic therapeutic for me. Uh, therapeutic, you mentioned that, uh, to be able to maybe relate to everyone else, again, everyone's trying to feel comfortable uh, in their own skin. You think that honesty is something that people are connecting with? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think that honesty and vulnerabilities are kind of, you know, two of my, of my core values, you know? I think you need to be honest with yourself, and, you know, I think that, that choosing to be vulnerable, at least when you are in a safe space enough to be vulnerable, is, uh, it can be a really beautiful thing. Uh, you know, you were in Mrs. Downfire, Matilda, uh, you know, a lot of uh, kids have ambitions, you know, to, to be in that, that Hollywood arena. Maybe parents have uh, dreams for their kids to be in that Hollywood arena. Um, it sounds like you're happy having moved past it. Are you happy for having had that experience in the first place? I definitely am. I think there was a long time when I felt very bitter about it, very frustrated with it. Uh, I think that, the, and ultimately though, it has led to good things for me, and I'm grateful that I had it. You know, it, I'm grateful that I had those experiences. It taught me a lot, and it made me who I am. It wasn't all great, but it wasn't all bad, and it definitely, I am definitely glad that I have had those chances. I mean, my, my advice for people who want to do that is get in, get, get out when it stops being fun, and, you know, save that money for college or for, you know, when you need a cushion in the future and find other things that you love as well. And you also had the opportunity, of course, to, to work with Robin Williams. A lot of people said, you know, a genius, obviously had some struggles yeah. as well, but to, to, what did you learn from the genius of, of Robin Williams? I think he was kind. That was really something that was important. He was, in, he was kind and he was an amazing listener. He would really listen to you and talk to you like you were a person, uh, especially with children. He was great at that. And I think that that's what made him such an entertaining performer was how much he listened to everybody. You know, he, he listened and he took inspiration from everywhere. And that's something that I try to do myself. I try to listen to what's around me and take inspiration from everywhere around me and take feedback and and I try to be kind to everyone because he was incredibly kind to me and incredibly kind to everybody I knew. Hmm, interesting how that does make a difference. We remember those folks who are kind. Well, I have one more question. We're running out of time. The accidental fame. I think maybe you'll have to read the book and find out how you, uh, your fame was accidental. Uh, nice catching up with you. And again, you look great. Thanks for your time this morning. Congrats on your oh, book. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.